Good morning. We're so happy you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. So we are on Hunchback of Notre Dame for our Disney movie watch. And Jamesy's like strangely <laughs> into it. I'm like half ready-ish. Um, we have a busy morning. I have a ultrasound appointment and then a checkup with my midwife. Peter has a bigger meeting this morning, so he's already like situated working away. Yeah. And we're going to eat some breakfast, play, and watch this movie. <laughs> you like it? You do? You like it? <laughs> you are silly. office and hopefully today we get a little bit more answers about this blood vessel that they were unsure of last time so fingers crossed for clear imaging and a plan the blood vessel is gone. They couldn't see it anymore. Um, and my placenta is three and a half centimeters from my cervix. So they are comfortable with me moving forward with the VBAC. Now, Peter and I need to discuss if we are comfortable with that now that we have this information. So we'll keep you guys updated. I did sign a waiver today saying that's what I intend to do, but at any moment I can change my mind. They just like to have that on file um, in case I go into labor. And so I'm home. I did learn, which I had expressed differently on our recent live stream, that although we can have visitors at the hospital, um, children cannot visit. So we were going between having James come to the hospital to meet Teddy or bringing him home. And now we, we don't have a choice. We have to have them meet at home. Um, but in, during labor, I can have my partner, another person and a doula, which is much different than the, like the, um, the restrictions when I gave birth to James in 2020. Um, but yeah, that's kind of, I mean, I guess it like makes it easier to make the choice, but we thought we had the choice. So I'm home. James is going to go down for a nap very soon. And then I'm going to edit. Jamesy, the midwife said, I'm all good to go on a plane this weekend. We got the official go ahead to go to Disney. I was worried that they might say otherwise, or maybe they would see something today um, that would cause them to let me know that they weren't comfortable with me traveling, but we're all good for that. So that is a relief. It's snowing. It's April 8th. It's snowing. So, it's the weekend. We go to Disney World this weekend. We were supposed to go to the South Side today, uh, but James took a really long nap 
I'm like, oh wow, he's sleeping a long time. And then he woke up and he let us know why. He was very upset, unconsolable. And then we figured out what it was. One of his canines is coming through. Um, so we were kind of just like figuring out what was going on there, getting him comfortable, getting him calm because he was one of the most upset we've ever experienced. So because of that, now, if anybody knows Dan Ryan traffic in Chicago, by the time we would get in the car and sit in the Dan Ryan traffic for over an hour to get to the suburbs now, um, it would be like 7.30 and the Sicards would be like getting ready to go to bed in the next like hour and a half after that. Um, so we're gonna stay home, which is fine because we have a bunch of stuff to get done between now and when we leave Sunday morning because we have eventful day tomorrow that we haven't told you about just yet. So we have to do some cleaning, some organizing, um, but I think, I think we're just gonna chill for maybe another 20. We should have stir fry and pot stickers for dinner. Look at this divinity dinner if I've ever seen one. Thank you so much, Sarah. Very quick trip to Target. Uh, I was looking to see if they have pants and work shirts and candles, but I got the candles, nothing else. All right, so. Now I'm checking out, I think there's a CJ Maxx right here with the Michaels. How have I lived here for a year? And I lived here years ago and I never knew there was a parking lot above this Michaels TJ's Max combo. Check it out, they even have a fancy out facing an elevator. How did I not realize this? What? Okay, my Marshall's in. I'm losing control quickly. I got Teddy stuff, James stuff. Look at all this Easter Lana Del Rey. So much of it. I did take a look at the mugs, but uh, nothing jumped out at me. Evie girl. You're a good girl? Evie girl always knows when something is up. One, we watched Coco today, and for some reason, I <laughs> could not hold it together at the end. We watch that movie all the time. Um, but yeah, I was emotional and Evie was, came, she was like asleep in the dining room. And all of a sudden, like when I got upset, she trotted her way in here. Um, and two, I talked a little bit about this on Instagram, um, but it is kind of a heavy day today because it would have been my due date for the chemical pregnancy that happened just before Teddy. And you know how grateful we are that, you know, Teddy came into our lives so soon after. Um, and just our whole infertility journey has, you know, really taken a turn, um, just a turn that we never expected. And with us being able to conceive on our own um, this time around, it just like, we never expected that and we're so grateful like i could say that a gazillion times um that i have uneventful pregnancies you know besides you know things happening in the beginning like the chemical pregnancy but that was our very very first time seeing a positive pregnancy test um without fertility treatments and it was a really really big deal and it was right after my mom passed away it just felt so right. And then it was taken away from us. And so, you know, we have this pregnancy and I'm, I still like pinch myself every single day. But knowing that today would have been my due date, it still has that heaviness to it. It's okay. Jamesy's watching Raya, but it's kind of an intense movie. And so sometimes he needs to be um, snuggled while watching, while watching his movie. <laughs> oh goodness. Um, but yeah, that little one that we were able to celebrate in my tummy for such a short period of time was just so, so special. And so today was heavy and um, I had 
brought up our losses to the um, the ultrasound tech today when she had asked if it was my second second pregnancy, and medically, like it's it's the second baby that we're going to be bringing home. Very unexpectedly, the ultrasound tech called called my losses bumps in the road that happened for a reason, and it was just something I did not expect to hear and truly like I have gotten comfortable speaking about our losses and um whatnot I just I feel like I could hear that and be like what were you thinking um and also understand that there was no malice in that in that in that comment but it was just so off the cuff so insensitive and I was able to take it and be you know let it roll off my shoulder but it's still like it's still stung and she had no idea today was the due date of our I call them our little one and uh, you know she doesn't know how how I've handled those losses um again I'm pregnant healthy pregnancy uneventful pregnancy um and maybe she just thought she didn't have to have such sensitivity but it's just a story that I wanted to share because I just wanted just to remind anyone who might need to hear it that when somebody goes through something like that, to always choose empathy over an opinion. Um, and truly that's all you can do. Like it's, it's really hard to talk about. And a lot of times people don't know what to say and that is completely understandable. But to, to put such a, you know, to kind of just like dismiss something as, you know, with your opinion, um, expressing your condolences is something that you can do instead. This turned into a ramble by me, but I was just sharing my experience from earlier today and just could not go today without talking about our little one. Here he comes again. It's a little scary. It's a little scary. <laughs> Peter is wrapping up at Walgreens. And I just noticed Jamesy had dumped all his little people out of that container and he made this giant circle around him. So sweet. Can you give her kisses? You love your Jessie. Can you give her a kiss? Ah, the bears. Oh. Jessie. Oh. oh gosh. <laughs> Jessie, your head's on backwards. This year, Coco, always finds a way. Why? Uh, we're in the calm down stage of the night. I'm home. I don't think I vlogged since I got home. Um, it's late for his bedtime, and it's late for us to say that we have to clean a bunch of our apartment tonight because we leave Sunday, but we have visitors coming over tomorrow that are going to be joining us at the Cubs game. So we have to do some cleaning tonight in prep. We're gonna, we have a game plan of what we're doing tonight, what we're going to do in the morning. Hopefully this little little person here cooperates. He's showing signs that he's exhausted by the utter nonsense he's doing. Oh, you found Miguel's face? Say dimple, no dimple. Goodbye, April 7th. Hello, April 8th, Friday. Thomas Edison. Many of life's failures are experienced by people who did not realize how close they were to success when they gave up. I dig it. We are called, sorry. I have the grid shot. We're gonna be playing all around this map Sunday through Wednesday. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, did a fair amount of cleaning up. Uh, I'm sure there'll be pictures posted by the time this vlog goes live. So I'll just tell you now in the vlog in case you don't follow some of the social medias. We're gonna see some of the Earhart's tomorrow. I think it's Ben, Carolyn, and Kieran. They're going to be actually meeting up with us in the morning, going to actually see our apartment for the first time. 
we're going to, I think, walk around our neighborhood a little bit, and then we're all going to the Cubs game together. Um, so that'll be a lot of fun. Sarah's cousin Matt is supposed to be coming up with us too. So um, that's where it's like we've been kind of getting the apartment clean tonight. It's 12.40 in the morning. Um, getting the apartment cleaned and prepped both for us being out of town because you guys know we like to clean our home before we go out of town so we come home and it's fresh and, and ready. And uh, also because we're going to have visitors because they're going to stop by. They're going to park in our side of the neighborhood. I actually have my van parked in a spot where you don't need a city sticker at all, even during Cubs games. And so when Ben and Carolyn get here, I'm going to have, like, I sent Ben the GPS location of the car. I'm going to meet them when they get here, and I'll move my car out of the street. They'll take my spot, and then I'll go park my car in our parking spot that we have. Um, it's a little little game planning there to make their lives easier um, in the city parking. So I'm really excited to see them tomorrow. And we just have a few things to do in the morning that we didn't want to do at 12.40 in the morning, like vacuuming and sweeping and scrubbing. I have to put some stuff away in James's room, but he couldn't obviously do that with him asleep. And what else? And that's really just like sweep, scrub the floor. Um, kitchen's basically done, living room's basically done. The dining room here has just like stuff that I have to put away in James's closet that is our storage. And our bedroom just needs a little bit of tidying up, so. It's good to be home. Good early morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back every day. Look, the sun is coming out and breaking up those clouds. Today is Saturday. We are having a Cubs afternoon game, 1.10 p.m. The Earhart's are en route. They text us from the highway so they can see the skyline. And they are so glad it's not gray like it has been. I'm gonna run over to Jewel with James. Um, to grab just like a cold pack of beer or something just to have it on hand in case we want that when they get here. Maybe some snacks, chips maybe. Um, I think we're going to go out to eat before the game. But then this also gives James a chance to get out of the house for a little bit. Gives Sarah a moment to settle. We've been up since like 6.30. Getting ready. We, we did a deeper clean in our apartment than I expected, but it's good because we're going out of town. It'll be nice. Good morning. I'm so excited for this package. You guys know that I have really, like just over the years, have really held back on keeping my Disney clothes collection small. We did a big purge. I'm very selective in what I purchased, but I could not pass this up. And actually, one of the shirts I bought is for my best friend, Lauren. So I'm gonna open this and I don't want I don't want her to see it. Um, okay, so I'm gonna throw hers away. I will show you mine. Oh my goodness sakes. Look at this beautiful shirt. It's got the earful tower on it. It still says Hollywood Studios, but it's got the old tower of terror. The earful tower circa 1989 backlot tour. I am a studios purist. And I miss just like the studio feel of studios. Backlot tour was like my whole heart and the earful tower. I'm so heavy and I'm gonna wear this this week. Just about perfect timing here. Uh, finished the jewel, dropped James off. Got picked up a couple of athletic brewing co, which is that non-alcoholic beer that you see at run Disney events. Uh, Carolyn and Ben love it, but they can't have it in Michigan, like it doesn't ship there. And not all the stores, I think, have it easily accessible. Um, so, when I went to Julie, I called her and said, hey, here's the flavors, what do you want? And then I got the bottle of bourbon for me and Ben to try, and dropped it off, and now they're a mile away from the car, so I'm walking over to the car to meet them at swap spots. I read Al's beef. We found that. Yeah. At the Earhart's here. We're gonna get some Al's beef. No, they're right there. Some of the they're not city folks. They're like stressing about figuring out their, their order. Or else be for and grab some some beefs and dogs before we get. James is asleep. If you remember, Phil comes to Ales Beef on Somebody Feed Phil, but this is not the original location. That is on Taylor Street. We are lucky enough to live close by to another location. It's like what Phil says: you need a napkin before you even take a bite. 
got fries and a regular beef dipped with hot peppers. I tried keeping James asleep. He was asleep in the stroller, but he uh, woke up as I got him out. So we'll see if I can get him back, but a lot of noises, so I don't know if he will, but I'm glad he got a nap in before. First weekend game of the season. Good crowd turning out right now. I think it was undeniably James' favorite part of Wrigley Field. They all grow it. Ready for your second Cubbies game this season? Well, I was about to say James is doing so much better today, but he does not want me to hold him as we're walking around. My sister's actually at this game, so we're going to see her and her friends. I got James with me. He's doing better. Having some Cracker Jackson popcorn at the game. <laughs> this is the giveaway for the game today. It's a koozie mitten. That's cool. Probably one of the more useful giveaways. <laughs> Jamesy's just eating peanuts, relaxing, eating, having a good time. Check it out, James and I had to go change his diaper, but look at all these people out in Gallagher Way. Now the sun's out. Look at this. Beautiful day. Beautiful day for a Cubbies game. Wanna go back to our seats? the most perfect jacket at the Cubs store, but right wait, the, the mask. Right? <laughs> oh, how, I mean, how do you... I know. That is nice. I don't want to know how much you wear a jacket. <laughs> I look cold. The Cubbies one is great. It was such a difference from Thursday. We stayed the whole time. James did have a little snooze beforehand and we were much more prepared. Um, we're getting some warmth in the Cubs store and Peter is to go get the stroller. We're taking the Earhart's and Matt to Cheesy's. All right, all right, we've made it to Cheesy's, which Matt is very excited about. What are you gonna get? A popper? No. What? Well, I'm getting a popper. Fried fried pickles. Ooh. Lots of fried stuff. Curds, pickles. Seriously. Here we go. We got some. Me and Carolyn both got the popper. Ben got the future. The future. Karen's diving into the OG. Matt, what is this one? Edgar. This is the Edgar. It's got like barbecue pork on it. Yeah, it's like tenderizer. And you're waiting on a tenderizer too, right? It's a tenderizer. Yes. Here's my tenderizer up close. All right, Cubby's one. 
Earhart's were here, part of them. And uh, we had some good food. So I just walked Ben, Carolyn, and, and here into the car. Um, now we get a little hectic for a minute. We're gonna pack up our stuff, make sure we have everything. We're gonna drive to the south side because we are gonna stay at the Sicards tonight because Grant is gonna drive us early in the morning to the airport. So here begins the travels to Orlando, Florida. Wow, what a day, what a jump from the last clip. Um, I'm up where everyone is asleep editing. We won't have any time to edit tomorrow between um, flying and getting to Disney, but we just also didn't have any time to vlog as we finish packing up, driving, and getting settled at the Sicards for the night. They are driving us to the airport in the morning. Um, so here's our sign off. It is good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>